Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to learn how to draw the cycloid. This is the problem. A circle of 50 mm diameter rolls on horizontal line for half revolution and then on a vertical line for another half revolution. Draw the curve traced by point P on the circumference of the circle. So first of all, you have to draw the circle with a radius equal to 25 because diameter is a 50 and that circle rolls half revolution means it is equal to pi d by 2. So pi d by 2 is distance equal to uh, round about 78.5. So first of all you have to draw a line from the center of the circle equal to 78.5 half revolution horizontal and then half revolution vertical then just take a line with the 0 9 color and 78.5 then here also 78.5 so that circle rolls half revolution up to here and another half revolution vertical so after that you have to divide this center line with the equal 8 parts so 4 parts on a horizontal line and 4 parts on a vertical line. So use that divide command. Select the line. Number of segments should be 4. Enter. Again use that same command. Right click. Repeat divide. Select line to be divided. Again use that divide command. Once again select that line number of segments should be 4 and then also mark the end points this is this one and this one so just check out if this is not correct delete that one and then again take this one then give the numbering to that particular points use dt command and that start point should be here specify height I keep 3 as a height and 0 angle so here I can give the names 2 3 4 here is a 5 6 7 and 8 then you have to draw one circle over there with a 0 9 color with a 25 so it is a when circle rolls here that would be appeared like this and one more circle you can draw it here when circles come to the end point 25 so that will appear like this means half revolution here and half revolution here so we have to trace the curve when circle rolls half revolution uh, and uh, horizontal and half revolution vertical so we'll start with the first point then before that you have to draw horizontal lines from this each and every point I will start from 1 you can draw horizontal lines so I think that this line is passing from 3 and 5 this from 4 this from 1 and 7 and the last it is from 8 
now you have to mark the points so i will take the black color and i will start with this first point so you have to draw the circle with the same radius is equal to 25 just extend that line on this side also this line you can extend or before drawing this line you can start you may start from 5 6 like this so that would be better and this circle cuts the line number 1 so that point you supposed to mark it here I will take this 8 point here somewhere and just mark that point first point then as this circle rolls horizontal just you have to move this circle from point 1 to point 2 and just cut the point number second on a second line then again move that circle from 2 to 3 and mark the point number 3 on a line number 3 so this is line this point this line passing from point number 3 so it is called as a line number 3 so it, it is passing from 3 and 5 so you have to mark the point on this line then again move that circle from 3 to 4 of course this is uh, come on the here so you have to mark that point 4 getting after that what you have to do you have to draw half curve or you may take half curve from one first point second point third fourth and like this so half curve would be like this after that same points you have to mark it here so i will just delete that circle first and you may draw the half curve by using P line starting from 8 this 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 and the last point here so after that you may use the P edit command here and feed that curve into the here after this that half curve is showing here then you have to draw another half curve for vertical revolution so vertical revolution after this after this you once the circle comes on a uh, point number 4 that 8 point would be here so 8 point first come here then here and then here and the last that 8 number point would be here so according to that you have to change the numbers of the circle so I will divide this circle into equal four parts again sorry eight parts so that you have to give the numbering in a such a way that that this point should be eight according to that number will be changed so here would be one two three so numbering is in a anti-clockwise direction so you have to give the numbering in an anti-clockwise direction so once again i will use the dt command now I will take another color so that would be differentiated so I will use the red color and I will use the dt command so starting number is here then 3 and 0 rotation angle so 8 would be here then here 1 here would be 2 3, 4, 
for you 6 and the 7 then same process you are supposed to repeat again now you have to take 09 color and just extend that lines in a vertical direction from each and every point So I think from all points I have drawn the lines. Now just same circle that 4 number we have moved circle up to 4. Now this circle with a radius equal to 25 will move towards vertical direction and keep moving on. Suppose this circle is going to move from 4 to 5. So just take move command and move it on a 5. And you have to mark the point line number 5. So where is the line number 5? I think this line number 5 is here. So if you extend that one, so you will come to know line number 5. So before uh, drawing this line from 7, you can draw this line from the point number 5. So uh, you have to mark the point on a line number 5. So there are two points. One is here and one is here. So uh, this 8 number point will not come here. When it is moving in upward direction, obviously that point will come here. So you have to mark this point as a point number 5 on line number 5. Then Again move that circle from 5 to 6 and mark the line number 6. So line number 6 is here. So you have to mark that point. Then again move that circle from 6 to 7 and mark the line number 7. Of course on the 7 also there are two points. One is here and another is here. But this point goes up like this, not directly here. So you have to mark this point here. And then again move this circle from 7 to 8. And you have to mark that point on a line number 8. So line number 8 is here, center line. So just mark that line number 8. So that would be the last point when the circle uh, complete one revolution uh, so that eight number point will come here so that would be like this and then here so you have to just draw this uh, curve from that points so just again use the p line starting from here join that so if you join like this just Again use the P edit and if you fit that curve, so that would be like this. So if you observe here, that curve is not sharp here. So what you can do instead of that, you can join this curve two times. How? Use that P line two times. First is from here, then here, here. Then use the P edit. fit the curve. Again use the P line from this point to this point and this point and use that P edit and fit that curve. 